Well, good morning and welcome to Corona Fits here in Blackstone, the center of the world. That's where I'm broadcasting from. Uh, but then you too are at the center of the world and broadcasting from there. The title of this talk is Corona and Space Odyssey 2001. Remember that movie? It still goes off like a time, metaphorical time release capsule in me. I keep seeing new insights into it. Primarily that black obelisk. Remember that? Whenever that appeared, evolution happened. The apes evolved, man evolved, but not the evolution uh, with the apes as a species evolved physically, but with man consciousness evolves. The body doesn't evolve anymore like maybe we just need one finger instead of five so we'll evolve to just having one finger because that's all we use on the computer. <laughs> you see, so. so everybody just has one finger because that, you don't use the other fingers. Natural selection. We would select people with one finger. <laughs> Forget that. But intelligence uh, consciousness involves. And consciousness is held in place by our culture. We, we don't stand alone. I mean, I mean we don't, we don't, we're not like marbles, little conscious marbles. We're like our collective, like America has a consciousness. America has uh, a collective consciousness. Then European culture has a collective consciousness. Then humanity has, you know, so there's the Russian nesting dolls of collectives of uh, uh, consciousness in which we are layered into. So, you know, so when you go through all those Russian nesting dolls, uh, you get down to you. And then all these layers are in us, you see, but, but it's like we're in this fishbowl of layered collectives, mythologies, viewpoints, uh, inherited, passed on uh, from parents to child. When you come into this, born into this culture, you are shaped by it, like a fish water is shaped by the bowl. And this is unconscious. So when the obelisk comes, it cracks the bowl. Because the obelisk can face the, the thing in the obelisk in, in uh, <laughs> the obelisk in face in space odyssey you see had no reference to the past it was unknown where the fuck did this come from <laughs> what is it nobody knew there was no memory of it no reference it was not even didn't even seem to be in time it was a total unknown I don't, but it was, ve but because of that, it was extremely curious and frightening. What is it? I don't know. So you're drawn to it and repelled by it. Oh, this tension of opposites, drawn, repelled, creates this uh, vibrancy in the mind, you know. It invites a leap. So this not knowing, so this obelisk kind of like, I, I'm speaking just as I see it and, and, and relate it to, to corona. Corona is like the obelisk. It doesn't have any reference. I mean, of course, we know it's a coronavirus and all the scientists know what it is and how these work. But this is a new corona, never existed before. So th there's no memory of it. There's no immunity to it. There's no cure for it. There's no vaccine for it. It's new, you see. It's, an it's a product of evolution. So now this obelisk is sitting right here like it sat in the space odyssey for the apes and for the astronauts. What is it? So this not knowing what I'm suggesting here is that the obelisk represents emptiness. It's empty of name and form. It's empty of the known. 
There's no reference for it. There's no authority for it. Doesn't fit in a religion. Fits in nothing. It's empty of the known. And yet it's there. You see, it's not like it doesn't exist. It's there, but it's empty of memory, the past, the known. So this emptiness activates something. It activates evolution. It activates us to leap beyond our known. It activates us like, and it prods us like on the end of a pirate's plank. You know that story, you know, the pirate's plank, he's blindfolded and the pirates are poking him with a sword and he walks out there and there's shark. He doesn't know what's down there. <laughs> Indiana Jones, when he steps out over the abyss in the, in the, um, the last crusade, uh, you know, to get to the Holy Grail. He steps out. The leap of faith. Uh, Avatar, when Jake Sully leaps onto the, onto the last shadow. Uh, all of our myths, all of our movies are full of this obelisk, this not knowing, this stepping out into the unknown. But you can't step out into the unknown until the unknown <laughs> presents itself until you're forced to it, until you have no choice, you see. So corona comes, you can't avoid it, you can't fix it, you can't remove it, you can't forget it, you can't leave it, you can't kill it. What can you do? It's the obelisk. You see, it's forcing us to evolve. It's the pirate's plank. Corona is the sword pushing us to leap on into a higher understanding, into a greater understanding of reality. Reality has moved. Conditions of reality have changed and our collective awareness of reality, particularly in America, has been resisting it. That's conservatism. No, no, no. Hang on to what you got, you see. So we've been clinging to what we got, to the known, but the demand, the obelisk, the, the imperative to evolve is getting greater and greater and greater because the world conditions have changed. And unless you evolve and get in alignment with change, you create a dam against change. And that dam is going to create something that's going to make you evolve. We know this in our own life. You resist change, something will happen, some event that's going to make you change. Something will happen to force you to face reality yourself. Alcoholics all know this. They reach a point where they cannot avoid the addiction and they have to deal with it. They have to evolve and create a new identity that includes the past but does not, it, but it is not held hostage to it. So Corona, then, the way I'm looking at it in this context, you see, is like the obelisk in Space Odyssey. It comes and it's going to make us evolve. It's going to change our society. It's going to change us, the way we do things. It's going to make us discover, discover new ways of being with each other, new ways of being in society. And we're going to create a more inclusive society. Of course, one that will be prepared for the next pandemic. That's a, that's a given. But it's going to reorganize our health system. It's going to reorganize our government, our political parties. Uh, it's going to change everything. We're going to evolve. We're going to evolve. And that's wonderful. There's a great joy in evolution because life is evolution. It's not like life is something that evolves. Life is evolution. And evolution can evolve. Evolution can evolve, you see. So whenever we change, we, ch we change evolution. Evolution is change. Life is change. All, and this is the primary axiom or truth of Buddhism and quantum physics. Life is impermanent. Uh, everything dies. 
which means everything changes. Form, nothing is permanent. Nothing is fixed. Nothing stays the same. But usually we'll get in periods where everything is slowly changing, so we're okay, there's little changes here and there, and then suddenly, bam, there's a big change. Something happens in the environment, an obelisk appears that creates rapid change. You either change or you die. You either adapt or you get filtered out. <laughs> Evolution is kind of like a sieve, you know. Uh, you know, and so if you don't change, you go through the you you go through the holes. <laughs> anyway, so coronavirus is kind of like that. We have to. It's making us change, whether we like it or not. So, when change comes, the best policy is to embrace it, joyously, willfully, welcoming it, choosing it. Oh, and don't go. Oh no, no, I don't want to change. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. No, welcome it. Doesn't mean you, if you were, doesn't mean that if you were giving a corona or not corona, I choose corona. No, that's not the point. There is no choice. Corona, there is no choice of either having corona exist or not, you know. All of the, why is this happening and who's to blame and all this, it doesn't change anything. It just prevents us from engaging with it creatively. So anyway, thank you for dropping into Corona Fits. I hope you find a Corona Fit in your life. Thank you. <laughs>